What's up everyone, this is Gamers of Reason. This video is going to be about Western Digital. For those of you that may know them, you know that they make a lot of storage devices, including mainly hard drives. So, um, it looks like now they're going to be making some networking equipment. And uh, the series of this networking equipment will be called the Minet, Minet series. And um, there will be one Ethernet switch, and there's going to be four routers. Okay, And the routers are all going to be dual band. So, um, and what these devices all are going to be about is prioritizing. Now, look at it this way, Emma. Most networking equipment, you know, they give you a bunch of bandwidth, but let's just say if you have like four or five computers being used around the house, or just a few of them, you know, used for different things at the same time, and let's just say you're using, you know, the most bandwidth, or you're doing something really important, let's just say watching Netflix or something. You know, you may notice it gets grainy or blurry or something, you know. Or if you're doing a Skype call, you notice it's losing quality, you know. And for gaming, it'd be getting laggy, your ping would be getting terrible and everything. And what this is caused by sometimes, sometimes those other people using the computer, even they're just doing something light, like watching videos or something like that, you know, they might be using some unnecessary bandwidth and might be just hogging it all, you know, and you really need it for what you're doing, you know. And um, so that's a good way. And some of these devices are going to have USB ports. What those are going to be for is for storage. So that way, any computer in the house that is connected through the network, it'll be able to access those files. So for me, it'd probably be files that I'm using for a project or something. Let's just say if you're working with a bunch of guys, you're all making, a, you know, working on a project. Let's just say like a movie or episode of something, then that way, let's just say the big files that you're going to be using or editing a lot, that way you'll be able to access them from any computer, and, uh, or even just music, you know. That way if you have multiple consoles around the house or computers, you want to listen to that music, you know, without having to put the music on the computer every single time, you know, that way you'll be able to just easily access it. So, anyways, the first product up is going to be the MyNet switch. It's going to be Ethernet switch. It's going to have six Ethernet ports. But what it's going to be special about it is that it's going to have two high priority Ethernet ports, four medium priority, and two low priority. So for me, it would be my computer behind me and my Xbox 360 console that I'd be using the high priority. Medium priority would ju just be most of the computers around the house, and low priority, I guess you could say, for lower devices. Let's just say, I don't know how, but let's just say if you got a printer or something that's you know, connected through Ethernet or something. Or if it's connected to a computer that's not being used, but you need to connect it to the network, so then you could, you know, print it from any computer, you know. It'd be great for that, or just someone using it for light stuff, you know. Just regular internet browsing, not much video watching or anything like that. So, um, that's that, and the next product up is going to be the N600. It's a router, it has uh, four Ethernet ports, and it has one USB port, and since it's dual band, it'll have 300 me megabytes per second by 300 megabytes per second speeds. And um, that's that. And the N, next one up is the N750. This one will have four Ethernet ports like the previous one. It will have two USB ports. Now what's going to be different about this one and the next one's up is that one of the USB ports will be USB 3.0. Now that's going to be really excellent for if you have a external hard drive that is USB 3.0, so that way if you want to get that raw, really fast speed that it delivers to you, you'll be able to do that since this has a USB 3.0 port. And um, this one is a little bit faster than the previous one. This one will be 300 by 450 megabytes per second, so it's a lot faster. Now, the next one up is going to be the N900. This one will have seven Ethernet gigabit ports, and that definitely should be enough for you, and it'll have two USB ports, and for the router, it'll have 450 by 450 megabytes per second. That's pretty dang fast. It's the closest thing to getting to wired internet, you know? And uh, the final one, this one will have only four Ethernet ports, one USB port, and the reason for that is because this one well, actually, depending on which one you get, it'll either have a one or two terabyte hard drive built into it. And of course, like the previous one, the router will be 450 by 450. So, this will be really great if you're 
have a lot of computers in the house and you're putting some massive files on it, you can build, just put a bunch of stuff on there. Or let's just say if you have a bunch of DVDs that you put on your computer or movies and stuff, now we can be able to watch all the movies or TV shows or whatever you got on there from any computer. So there's a lot of things you could use that for. I don't really quite need that. I do need a big hard drive pretty soon, but I don't need a router like that. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna. In case I didn't explain it enough before, all these routers are going to be automatically prioritizing things for you. So let's just say if you're doing a Skype call, um, it'll actually be like, okay, this person needs at least this much bandwidth. And it'll just put it aside for you. So that way it just keeps on, you know, adjusting it for the best possible. So that way it doesn't get unbalanced. It keeps it balanced for everybody so that everybody can be satisfied. I guess you could say as far as bandwidth requirements are. So I'm. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.